Okay, I'm returning to the sports packages, but here's what I'm pretty much not going to do. I'm not going to be doing sports updates every day. I decided against that. I just made a bunch of videos and I deleted them all. Got rid of them. The reason why is... If, if, you, if you follow... It, I tell you, I'm stuttering like crazy on this camera lately. If you followed my channel over the years, you noticed that I used to do sports updates all the time. Every day I would go over all, all my teams, who won, who lost, and all that. Well, you see, that's a huge problem because, it, it, especially with baseball, they play almost every single day. If I forget to do it, I've, I'll miss out on it. I can't remember to do it all, especially hockey season. There can be an AHL, NHL, and an MLB, um, uh, not MLB, AHL, NHL, and an NBA game. They can all be in one day. I have to cover three videos in one day. I will never remember. And baseball games come on late. I don't want to feel like I have to rush down to the camera, even though this is all for fun. But this video is just going to be to tell you about the packages. If you people want to watch sports, what you should buy and what you shouldn't buy. All right. First of all, when it comes to football, the only way you can really watch it is if you have the red zone. You can watch pieces of it. I guess if I think they have a streaming service for, for football now that you can watch entire games. I'm not sure. I know you direct TVs always had. I don't know anything about football, so forget that. For basketball, they have the NBA package. Very expensive. I finally have it for the first time without any commercials. And it's much more enjoyable. Um, you have the AHL, which I got only because I want to know what my avalanche is going to be like. What future players are going to go up to the majors um, in, in, the, in the National Hockey League. And the only way to do that is to watch the people that are at the low at the low level and um you know i know what ahl is like it's not a place you'd want to go to in person i was a season ticket holder for the providence bruins for at least four or five years i had glass seats right behind the goal and it, it was nice while it lasted but after a while it got sickening no one has accuracy in ahl even when they're practicing it um pretty much Pretty much before the game starts, they go into practice mode. They come on in the ice for about 20 minutes. They skate around, they warm up, they shoot the puck. And about 75% of the pucks don't even hit the net. They hit the glass. They hit where I am. The, 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 the pucks are hitting the glass like less than a foot, foot away from me. It's really loud. And I get bored I get so bored at a Providence Bruins game that I would literally fall asleep. I did that once. I almost fell asleep. A puck hit the net once, woke me up, scared the shit out of me. And once so, during the game, I, they slammed into the glass in front of me and scared the shit out of me. That's pretty bad when you're a season ticket holder and you fall asleep. That's how bad AHL hockey is. But, um... What's good about the um, watching on the TV is is that um I at least um my I can watch my favorite team. I'll be more likely to stick with to watch my favorite team than watching a team that that, that I really that I really don't favor. Um the the Avalanche's affiliate the Colorado Eagles have a really nice feed for the AHL. They have cheerleaders at their um arena, wherever it's called, I forgot the name of it, and um, they, they have a really nice setup there, the Providence Bruins have nothing except for a camera showing the game, they have no cheerleaders, they have no activities they can show during intermission, nothing, and I went to the games, and their intermission consists of little kids playing hockey games in between periods, that's all they do, they don't do, they don't do anything else. The Eagles got nice cheerleaders. Um, a team that's been in the NHL, the Boston Bruins, all these years. They're 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 one of the original what six hockey teams, 
And they don't even have a decent AHL team that has festivities and stuff. That sucks for me. But I know what it's like for the AHL package. Um, and I, I follow the Anaheim Ducks a lot. Because, you know, after watching the Ducks movie, all of, movies, all of a sudden I just became an Anaheim fan too. Um, they, but you know what? The, the, both teams, the Avalanche and Anaheim, have won the Stanley Cup. And, um, let's say since 96, the, um, when the Avalanche started, they won three Stanley Cups. When the, um, since Anaheim's been a team, they've won one Stanley Cup. I believe they've been in two of them. Um, and Boston's won one since I started watching hockey, but they've won a few others, but those were a long time ago. So, um, you know, I, I know enough to enjoy watching it, but, um, baseball is going to be very difficult for me. I haven't really made a full decision. I want to buy it because I want some kind of sport to watch during the year. I don't want to watch a Yan the Yankees. They're a complete fail. Oh, such an overrated team to lose four games to one when they have three giant power hitters on that team. Stan, Soto, and Judge. And they couldn't win more than one World Series game. That is completely pathetic. Um, just goes to show you, um, people that can hit 60 plus homers in a year can't win a World Series. Even it, I, it real. That's why. And then they're gonna put a time. They they put the time clock in. And plus, they might have an auto, automated strike zone in the future. My Rob Manfred said an automated strike zone is it gonna be in baseball in three or four years? If that's the case, uh, how are people gonna watch this on TV? That's gonna be a friggin' disaster. N the human element will be gone. They'll be calling balls and strikes to the computer. Before you know it, they'll be, they'll be doing safe and out and foul balls on the computer. Before you know it, there won't be an umpire anymore. And, and there'll be no one to argue with. And um, who, how will you decide when you throw, um, yeah, when you throw someone out, out, how do I put it? When you throw someone out of the game, how are you going to decide that if there's no umpires left? That could very well happen in the near future. I'm just very, very disappointed in the whole process. Baseball is taking a terrible approach. It's been completely watered down. You know, basketball has made some changes, but, um, you know, people are still watching it. Baseball, no matter what they do, they're never going to have it. So if you're going to buy a package... I would probably buy ESPN Plus. That's the first thing I would start off with if you watch enough sports and then go from there. Maybe get the maybe basketball after that. Um, maybe get the AHL if you're really interested in hockey like me. And if you um, really like sports altogether, you can branch off and maybe get the Major League Baseball. But... It's all, it's all up to you and what you like. Um, I'm not going to be doing any future videos, I don't think, because I don't think it's worth it. I'm focusing on the 4K. The only reason why I mention this is because mainly I do unboxings and movie channel and some travel videos too. The only reason why I'm mentioning this is because um, I used to do a lot of unboxings for Blu-rays for baseball. This is the second year in a, in, in a row with no DVD or Blu-ray releases. So the World Series doesn't come out on Blu-ray anymore. And that's... Why would we... Would, how, how do I put it? Would, would we want to see the New York Yankees win the World Series? I mean, lose the World Series? Now I'm talking out of my ass. Do we want to see the New York Yankees lose the World Series so badly? No. Who's go? Who would buy that World Series if it was that bad? It. I I I could argue that this World Series was worse than watching the one with COVID, when there were no fans at all. All right, that's it. Bye. -bye. <laughs>